Hello everybody! Today I'm going to teach you how to marinate a moose meat. Moose meat is a very popular uh, meat. Uh, usually the sweet like to go hunting uh, starting from 1st of September. So we we're very lucky because we got this moose meat from LG's son. Uh, he is not a hunter but he bought the whole um, moose from a friend and then they have to hire somebody to they call that to to pull the meat apart uh, to pull the elm apart so that they could uh, cut them properly remove the head and the feet and all that so you need to actually go for a course to do that but actually this guy they were so fantastic they were just watching on internet uh, how to do it I think they probably found it on YouTube so they've been doing that uh, last two nights. So we got the meat yesterday and I thought I want to show you guys uh, how to do that. Today is my birthday. So I thought this might be a special uh, meals for my family and I hope that they like them. So as you can see, the moose meat is uh, pretty uh, lean. There is not so much of a fat. So, and the, fat, the meat is really good. I've tried that many times and i love it so i thought this would be a good time for me to show you since it's the season so let me just put this back it's really really heavy so i'm going to show you how i do that all right so without further delay let me just show you uh, how i usually do i'm going to just take a small knife uh, and cut the meat as you can see the meat are already been uh, I already skilled the vein you see there's a lot of vein so you want to remove that as much as possible so you I was not so very very into doing that so I thought I just show you how I uh, prepare them usually so you can remove the vein and you can turn the meat on this side uh, so that it's much easier for you to put uh, the the garlic in here so what you want to do is you want to make pockets uh, from this meat so that you can uh, slice in the garlic so what I do is that clean the meat properly pat them dry and then uh, make pockets like this so you just tilt the knife a little bit so that you have a, a even distribution of garlic so I'm going to just put them like this all right so I make about eight holes so what you want to do next is that you put this garlic that has already been sliced thinly so you can put them in the pocket push them all the way in you want to push them all the way in so that the flavors will get in so this portion just one alone is about uh, almost one kilo so altogether this is about two kilo uh, it's just four of us so I thought we should make extra who knows maybe uh, we might have some for lunch if you're lucky so push the meat in here if you're wondering what is that uh, it's my cat, Swante. He wants us to come into the kitchen. I don't let him, so he's making sound. So now I have done one. So again, you do the same for this other side. You just make sure that you just cut them evenly. All right. I like oh this is a bit more veiny so when it's more veiny you want to cut deeper because the meat is more difficult to put in all right so again do the same thing but i think i got more pockets on this side because this seems like a bigger wider space so you want to make sure that all the garlic is being pressed inside properly So, just 
make sure that they are being pressed. All right. So, as you can see, it's quite a lot of garlic you need. <laughs> so this is about uh, five garlic, uh, quite big size one. So I cut them and what you want to do next is to make a marinade or to to tenderize the meat because elk meat can be a bit stiff because they are full of muscles this animal they run in the forest all day all night during the summer and they rest during the winter but they're not like bad they don't hide in a hole okay so this is done so make sure you push them in all the way in all right and then what you want to do is that you want to make a mixture of tomato let me just get a bowl here so i have a bowl and i'm going to get a spoon so what you want to do is that you can either use tomato puree like i do in the tube uh, Usually I like to use tomato puree, they are more flavors. And then you want to uh, loosen it up with a bit of tomato ketchup. So I'm going to add some ketchup in here. So this is going to be marinated in a meat for at least 30 minutes before you uh, could add the rest of the ingredient. So I'm just going to marinate them like this so what you do is that with a bowl right in front right so you want to make sure that you cover all the all the area so LG is calling me when I'm doing my live streaming. I don't know what he want. Let me just see what he want, all right? I have to quit this live streaming now. So I'll come back later again. Bye.